let's all get on our mats. Start in a seated position. You know how we like to start in seated meditation. Getting grounded, feeling humble. So just find your seated meditation, that your seated posture that's good for you. And just close your eyes and start to connect to your breathing patterns, your the, how deeply you're breathing in, how deeply you're releasing everything. It should be somewhere in the middle. You don't want it to be too shallow or too deep that you're really going into it, but somewhere in the middle where you just feel like your whole body is kind of floating with your inhale and then feeling super grounded on your exhale. Just find that breath for you. And at the same time, Make sure you're sitting with a nice posture, long spine, heart forward, shoulders back. And while you are in your seated meditation, let me just talk to you a little bit about Ashtanga and how beautiful of a practice it is. For some people it can be complicated because it takes a lot of discipline, but if you like structure, this practice will be perfect for you. If you truly put your energy towards the Ashtanga yoga practice method, you can find very quick benefits to your body, feeling stronger instantly, just from practicing this yoga only for a specific amount of time. So I highly recommend it. You can see benefits instantly. It takes a lot of tapas, which in Sanskrit is discipline. And that's it pretty much. Ashtanga means eight limbs, and it has to do with more than just the practice, which a lot of people think it is. They think it's just a sport. They think it's just to get a big sweat, which you do, to purify the body, to detox all the organs and muscles. Um, which you do that anyways, but it's beyond that. You're also, all the eight limbs are social observances, personal observances, detaching from your senses, focusing on concentration, breath work, meditation, and hopefully at the end you'll reach enlightenment. That's the goal, right? So those are the eight limbs. Um, and I hope that with this practice you find a little bit more love for the Ashtanga Yoga like I have and that's it. So let's just, I'll join you in your seated meditation for a couple more breaths. really being aware and conscious of the amazing benefits that come out of this practice together. And slowly open your eyes. Let's come to a tabletop pose. I'm just going to do a quick warm up in the tabletop position before we enter our sun salutation sequence, which will definitely warm up the whole body. First, we just wanna work on the joints a little bit. We'll start circling on the hands, warming up the wrist joint. Really spread your fingers, grab your mat, activate your whole hand here. Change direction. Come back to center. Let's just flip one hand at a time just to get used to this weird, uncomfortable posture of flipping the hand to be on the back of the hand now, but we'll just do one hand. Usually I like to do both, but just to be gentle this morning, this time, let's do it with one hand. And since we're doing it with one hand, I hope you can really work on not collapsing, but finding this length here in your arms, keeping your 
belly active and stable, long neutral spine, not sinking in the belly or rising too high. And then let's switch hands, placing the right hand back on the ground. Left hand flipped over like a pancake. Make sure all the fingers are on the ground still, the whole hand is active. Coming back to center, let's do some shoulder shrugs to warm up the shoulder region and get us comfortable with really using our shoulder muscles. So within our tabletop, nothing is moving except us falling into our shoulders. The abs are still a little bit active. You don't have to sink through like in a cow pose. The, the spine is still long and straight and strong and you're just shrugging in the shoulders, falling into your shoulders and lifting up. This can be difficult if you haven't done it before to really isolate in the shoulders. But just try. I really want to warm up those shoulders before all the chaturangas we'll get into in our practice. This is a shorter practice, so we won't have as many, but still we want to have those shoulders nice and warmed up. Let's add some circles here. Keeping the abs active, Spine still straight, not sinking in the belly. We're just circling in the shoulder girdle, in the shoulder joint. And change direction. I'm sure your shoulders are already feeling super worked out just from this warm up, which is good. We want them to be active and stimulated before we go into deeper postures. Now we're coming back to your normal tabletop. Let's enter our cat cow, just warming up the spine. Not so much in the shoulders now. Look up, drop the belly, push in the hands. Belly rises, spine arches towards the sky. Make sure you're really pushing with your hands, with your legs, squeezing your glutes as much as you can, arching the back. Inhale, drop the belly, look up. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Couple more. And then slowly come to a standing position. Just take a moment. Releasing any tension from the neck, and at the same time circling the wrists, releasing any tension there from that pressure we had on them for a couple moments. <sighs> and change direction with the hands and with the head. Let's come to the tops of our mats. Big toe to big toe. Inhale, the hands come up. Upward hand posture. You should feel this pose from your toes to your fingertips. Exhale, come down towards the ground, forward fold. You can bend the knees if you want to work with a straight spine here, if you have any lower back pain. Or just with the straight legs and really focus on the hamstrings. It's up to you. Inhale, look forward, halfway lift, long spine here. If you can't get that long spine with your hands still on the ground, then bring them to your thighs. Super important to find that straight long spine, even if you want to feel like this is straight. If your belly isn't really touching your thigh, then it probably isn't. <laughs> Drop the hands towards the ground, hold your breath, step, step back to a plank. Make sure your plank is nice and steady, hands beneath the shoulder. 
Look forward and start to tilt your body weight on your, on your toes forward, bouncing forward and back. Just to get used to this movement really quick. This is super important in the Chaturanga. You don't want to drop down from a normal plane. It's important to inch forward as if you're looking over a cliff to get your arms in the right position. So after you did that a couple times, lean all the way forward, exhale as you go down, keep the elbows close to your body. Inhale, slide up to upward dog pose. Legs are above the ground, pushing off your hand, looking up slightly, inhale. Tuck the toes, hips come all the way up into your downward dog. We're gonna take five deep breaths here. So really align yourself as you need to. Legs, hips distance, hands, shoulder distance, pushing the weight back to your feet to find that nice long spine. Super important here. Again, if you don't have that straight spine and you feel a little bit of an arch, bend in the knees, push off the hands, and find that straight spine. In downward dog, it's way more important that the spine is straight than the legs. With time, the legs will straighten out, and you'll see a difference too, just from a couple rounds of sun salutations, how the body warms up and goes deeper into postures. Hmm. So one last deep breath. Look forward, step, step, big toe to big toe. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward, straight spine. Exhale, head to knees, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, Samastitihi rest. Let's do two more of Sun A. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, down to the ground, head to knees, forward fold. Look forward, halfway lift, inhale. Hold your breath as you walk or jump to your plank. Lean forward, exhale as you lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Five deep breaths here. Again, take a moment to adjust yourself properly so you feel strong in your downward dog. One. Two, breathe deeply through the nose. Three. Four. Five. Look forward, walk, step, or jump. Hop, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, rest, hands to heart center. Last one. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward. Hold your breath, walk, step, or jump to plank. Lean the body forward, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Again, adjust yourself as needed for your five deep breaths. One. Two, really feel this deep breath moving up and down your throat. Three. Four. Five. Look forward, walk, step, or hop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, rest. Let's go into sun salutations B together now. Inhale, the hands will come up. Drop the hips coming into your chair pose. Make sure you can still see your toes so that you're not pushing too forward with the knees. You want to bring the hips back as if you want to sit on a chair behind you. Still protecting the lower back. You can tilt the tip, tilt the hips a little bit towards the back, almost like a pelvic tilt, to protect the lower back so you're not arching too much. It's up to you what's more comfortable for you in your chair pose. Inhale, look up towards your fingertips. Exhale, come to the ground, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward, long spine. Hold your breath, drop your hands, walk step or hop to plank. Lean forward, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. 
exhale down dog. Lifting our right leg up towards the sky and in between our hands to enter warrior one. Drop the left heel, your back heel onto the ground and feel stable in your legs. Your knee should be above your ankle and you shouldn't move your legs at all when you come up. A common mistake is to inhale lift with the upper body and then the front leg will straighten as well a bit without even noticing. So just make sure the knee stays above the ankle and doesn't tilt inwards. We want to protect that knee. So make sure the alignment is real nice there. Inhale, look up towards your hands. Warrior one, make sure your hips are facing forward. If you can't get the hips forward with the back heel on the ground, you can come up onto your toes as well. That's another variation. Inhale, look up. Exhale to the ground. Swing the right leg back to your plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. And let's switch sides. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, in between the hands. Hold your breath. Feel your strong base, knee above ankle. Inhale, the whole upper body rises without moving the legs. Look up towards your hands. Beautiful warrior ones. Exhale back down towards the ground. Inhale back to your plank. Exhale, chaturanga, lean forward. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Five deep breaths. Adjust yourself as needed. See if there's a difference in this downward dog than the first one we did today. One. Two, three, four, five. Look forward, walk, step, or hop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, bend the knees. Look up towards your fingertips. Exhale, rest. Let's do one more sunbeam. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Hold your breath, drop your hands, walk, step, or hop. Plank pose, lean forward, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Lift the right leg up and place it in between your hands. Create this nice strong base. Inhale, only the upper body. Beautiful warrior ones. Exhale, come back towards the ground. Inhale, plank. Lean forward, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left side. Lifting that left leg and bringing it in between your hands. Preparing a nice strong base for yourself, feeling balanced. Inhale, hands come up. Exhale, down towards the ground. Inhale, back to plank. Lean forward, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Last five deep breaths. Make them your deepest. One. Really push off your hands, bringing your weight to your feet. Two. Three. Four. Five. Look forward, walk, step, or hop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale into your chair pose. Exhale, Samastiti, rest. Take a moment to open your body, open your legs. Feel the heat in your body, feel the energy moving around through all your muscles and organs. Close your eyes, connect to your breath. <sighs> See if you can slow down your heartbeat with just a couple deep breaths, controlling your nervous system.
Beautiful. I'm sure you feel the magic in your body that I feel as well. I hope you do. Let's close the legs five centimeters apart from each other, like two inches. Something like your inner hip width distance, not your outer hip. Inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, we're gonna lower down towards the ground, leading with our heart to grab our big toe with our peace sign fingers. Inhale, look forward, halfway lift, like in sun salutations. Exhale, pull yourself towards your knees and bring your elbows out towards the sides. If you need to bend your knees here and work with a straight spine or want to, that's okay as well. Keeping the belly close to the thighs and then straightening the legs from there, working from the legs instead of from the back. I recommend that method in my folds um, as well. So choose what you will. Five deep breaths, pulling yourself towards your knees. In Ashtanga, we use our breath as a tool. So really every breath I count, inhale and lengthen, exhale and go just a little bit deeper into the posture. I know you can do it. One. Two. Three. Four. Inhale, look forward, release your hands. Exhale, bring your hands under your feet to where your toes touch your wrist. If your toes aren't touching your wrist, then you can bend the knees a little bit more and really get underneath there. Massaging your whole hand here. You really wanna press into the feet and massage the hands for a moment. Not leaning too much in the heels, more onto the hand, onto the toes. Inhale, look forward, long spine. Exhale, head to knees, it's okay if you're flexible and your hands are kind of loose, or if it's difficult and you need to bend the knees a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, release the hands, look forward. Drop the hands towards the ground, hold your breath. Drop back to plank or walk. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. From here, we'll lift the right leg. Inhale, exhale, bring it in between your hands. Windmill the hands up and we're in a standing position now. The feet should be at like a four or five feet distance. We're gonna come into side angle pose. So bend the right knee so it's over the ankle. And I want you to really look at your knee and make sure that the knee does not end up tilting inwards. We really wanna keep that knee over the ankle and protect the knee joint. Inhale, the hands come to shoulder height. Exhale, bring the right hand to your outer right foot. Coming into extended side angle pose. Look up towards your left hand. For an extra challenge, you can bring it overhead in line with your body. Up to you. Five deep breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, come back up. Switch legs, turn towards the left leg. Left knee over left ankle. Right leg is turning outwards from the mat. Inhale, hands come to shoulder height. Exhale, lowering down left hand to your outer left foot. Right hand comes overhead or straight beyond in line with your right back leg. Look up towards your right hand. Make sure your chest is open forward and not collapsing down towards the ground. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, come up. Exhale, switch sides. We're coming to twisted side angle now, bringing the knee above the ankle again. Turn the whole body towards the right leg, the upper body. Inhale, lengthen in the spine. 
Exhale, bring that left hand either to your outer right foot or you can keep it on the inside if it's um, difficult to balance in. Those are two variations. Right hand comes up towards the sky, look up towards your right hand. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, rise up. Let's change sides, exhale. Aligning the knees first, twisting the whole upper body towards the left leg. Inhale, lengthen in the spine. Exhale, right hand to outer left foot or inner for more uh, stability and balance. Look up towards your left hand. Five deep breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, come up. Exhale, lower the hands down by your side. And let's turn our feet towards the front and more inwards. Again, protecting the knee joint. So the toes aren't facing out, they're facing in. Inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, lower down, heart first. To wide angle fold. Let the head drop. You can bring your hands in between your legs and work on the straight spine direction of bringing the head towards the ground. Or you can bring it a bit more in front of you if that's, if that's too deep for you. Two options. Five deep breaths here. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let's bring our hands behind our back, connect our fingers. Inhale, open the heart forward, coming into a shoulder stretch in our wide angle fold. Exhale, lean forward, heart first. Drop the head and the hands will fall over. Let gravity take hold of your hands. Five deep breaths here. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let's turn towards the left side with both legs. <laughs> both the legs are towards the left. If you feel unbalanced here, you can widen your stance a bit so your legs are at hips distance. Or if you're feeling strong and balanced today, the legs will be in a line. Both legs are straight here. Inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, bring the hands behind your back. You can either grab both elbows or come into backwards namaste. If you choose backwards namaste, then try to keep your hands together the whole time. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, slowly drop forward. Belly to thigh and then head to knee. One. Two. Press into your feet, feel balanced. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, switch sides with the feet. If you're holding elbows, then switch your hold. If you're in backwards namaste, then just stay there and re-strengthen. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, slowly drop forward, belly to thigh, head to knee. Five deep breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Drop the heads to the ground. Let's come into a vinyasa. Walk back to plank. Inhale. Lean forward, exhale, chaturanga. 
Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. And we'll slowly jump through to a seat. You can also walk. I like to jump. Find your seat here. Sorry. And we'll be with straight legs coming into Dandasana, staff pose. The legs are straight, flex towards you. Hands are by your side, by your hips. And use your hands to help you find this long, beautiful spine, open heart. The only thing relaxed here is the head. So it can look like a simple posture, but you should be using your whole body. And feel each deep breath. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, drop the hands behind you, coming into reverse plank. The hands should be about one hand behind you, not too far back. Inhale, rise the hips up in the direction that you want your toes to touch the ground. Head drops back, five deep breaths. Lift those hips up, press into your hands. One. Two, three, four, five. And slowly bring your hips back down towards the ground. Inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, release. Take your right leg and just cradle it for a moment. I'm gonna come into some fun half lotus variations on posture. So we really want to warm up that hip. Cradling the right leg. And slowly place the foot as close as possible to your hip and lower it down. You want your foot to be as close as possible to your hip because sometimes it will slide to like your inner thigh, and that's too much pressure on the ankle. So when it's on the inner hip, your foot should be flexed and feel comfortable here. You shouldn't feel any strain in the ankle. At the same time, your knee should feel fine. So if your knee's okay here, you can stay in this half lotus. If you feel any pain in the knee, just widen the stance to an angle four. Extra challenge here. You can bring your right hand behind your back and bind with your right toe. Hope that's okay. If you can't do that, if it's just not possible at this moment, then keep the hand forward. So either with the bind or without the bind, flex in the left leg, inhale the hand up, exhale, come forward to a forward fold with your half bound lotus. One, two, Three, four, five. Inhale, come up. Exhale, release. Let's switch sides. Release the, left, the right leg. Take that left leg for a moment and just cradle it, warming up that left hip. Bring the foot as close as possible to your right hip now. Flex in the left foot, protecting the knee. Again, you can choose the extra challenge here of binding and grabbing your big toe with your left hand behind your back. Or not. Flex in the right foot. Inhale, hands come up. Or right, or both. And exhale, lower down, feeling that nice massage on your belly from your half lotus. Five deep breaths, make sure you stay flexing in that straight leg. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, come up. Exhale, release. Take a moment here. Let's bend the right leg towards our body, knee to chest. Inhale, the hands will come up. 
Exhale, lean forward, but before you grab your foot, you're gonna stay here and then bind around your right leg. I'll change sides so you can see me. You're leaning forward and then you bind around that right leg, grabbing hands in the back. If you can't do this, then just try with energy and your hands will just be in the direction towards each other. Inhale, look forward, flex in the left leg. Exhale, head to knee, Marichyasana A. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, come back up, release the hands. Exhale, let's grab the left foot and bring it towards our body into a half lotus while the right leg is still bent. Should look like this. We're gonna come into Marichyasana B, second variation, which is basically what we just did, but with this almost half lotus variation. Inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, let's bind around that right leg and drop your head towards your knee. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, come up, release the legs. Coming into Marichyasana C with the right leg still bent. Inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, turn towards your right leg if you can. Bind around that right leg. So it will look like this. The left leg is flexed, twisting towards the back. If you can't bind your hands together, then again with energy. Or you can just keep the left hand um, open here on the knee, almost in just like a seated twist. This is variation C. Look behind you. Long spine, open heart. Five deep breaths. One. Two, three, four, five. Release, and let's come into D. Again, we bring that left leg into this half lotus bind. Like this. Just bringing the left leg into your hip crease on the right leg. Inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, let's go around and try to grab hands. Look behind you, five deep breaths. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, come back to center, release the legs, let's switch sides. Bending in the left leg. Right leg is straight and flexed. Inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, lean forward, bind around your left leg. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, head to knee. Five deep breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, come up. Exhale, bring that right leg towards you in your left leg crease. Inhale, hands come up. Exhale, round forward, bind around that left leg. Head to knee. One. Two. Three. Four, five. Inhale, come up. Exhale, release that right leg straight forward. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, we're binding towards our left leg. Now turn towards the left leg and really try to get your arm around that left knee to grab hands in the back. Look behind you, coming into a twist. One. Two, three, four, five. 
Bring that right leg back in. Coming into that half lotus variation, inhale the hands up. Exhale, come around, trying to grab, trying to bind. Look behind you, five deep breaths. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, the hands come back up. Exhale, drop the hands towards the ground. Inhale, back to plank, vinyasa. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Walk or step forward and come to your back. Bring the hands by your sides. Knees are bent, feet on the floor. Legs should be hips distance apart parallel to each other. Really make sure that your feet are facing forward and not turning outwards or inward. Protect the knee in our bridge pose. Inhale, lift the hips as high as you can. If you can, binding hands at the bottom, pushing against the ground to get your shoulders even more underneath, pushing the hips as high as possible in your bridge pose. Five deep breaths. Make sure your knees are still facing forward and have an opened um, outwards. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly lower down. Coming into shoulder stand. Lift the knees, the legs to 90 degrees. Slowly start to tilt the feet towards your head until you have room to bring your hands onto your lower back. Keep your head in the center. Don't look at the screen, just listen. Keeping the legs straight, active together. Five deep breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, dropping the feet back over your head into plow pose, halasana. You should be on the top of your feet like an up dog or cobra. You can drop the hands to the ground if that's comfortable or keep them on your back. And really try to lift your hips here to find that long straight spine here, not just collapsing. Pressing onto your feet, the legs should be as straight as possible, five deep breaths. One. Two, three, four, five. Start to bend in the knees, bringing the knees by your ears. Maybe hugging your thighs here, your the back of your thighs. Pressing your knees a little bit more on your ears. Ear pressure pros, karna pidasana. One, two, Three, four, five. Slowly release, straightening the legs again. Bringing the hands to your lower back. Inhale, the legs come back up to shoulder stem. Gonna take a lotus variation here. If you want, you can stay in a straight leg or try a half lotus. So bend the right leg and bring the foot as close as possible to your hip crease. Start to bend the left leg either above your right leg, coming into a lotus pose in your shoulder stand. If not, it can be behind your right leg, coming into a half lotus. Straighten the knees up as high as possible as you can. Five deep breaths. One, two, three, four, five, release the legs. Legs come back up straight, let's switch sides. Left leg to right hip crease as much as possible. Right leg comes either above the left leg, inching towards the left knee crease or behind the leg in a half lotus. Straighten the knees as much as possible towards the sky. Five deep breaths. One, 
two, three, four, five. Keeping this lotus either half or full, slowly drop back down towards the ground. Hips get to the ground. You're still in your lotus or your half lotus. And drop the knees slowly down. Come up onto your elbows. You can adjust your lotus as needed. Just a little bit. And let's come into fish pose variation with our lotus legs or half lotus legs. Dropping the head back, scooting the hips until your head comes down towards the ground. You can grab your feet here or keep your hands on the floor. Five deep breaths in your fish pose variation. One, two, three, four, five. Release the head back down towards the ground. Release your lotus. <sighs> Sit up. And let's do our last vinyasa together. Cross the legs. Walk, step, or hop to your plank. Inhale. Lean forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. And let's meet each other in a seat, either by walking or jumping into our seat. Woo! So fun. Coming into the last part of our practice, which will, will just be a basic lotus. You can do half or you can do full. Flexing in the leg to protect the knee. Let's start with the right leg first on the left knee and, and the left crease and then the left knee on top if you're doing full with me. Or half, the left leg will be on bottom and the right leg will be on top. Just a simple lotus, no crazy variation here. Hands will come to the knees, long, straight and erect. Long spine, use your energy to bring your knees closer towards the ground without actually pushing physically. Your hands can be open towards the universe, open towards all the energy in the world. Close the eyes, five deep breaths. One. Two, three, four, five. Switch legs slowly. Left leg to right crease. Completing your full lotus or staying in a half lotus. Flexing in the feet to protect the knee. The knees. <laughs> Hands come to your knees, long arms. Palms facing forward and open. Heart radiating forward. Five deep breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Open your eyes. Choose whichever side was more comfortable for you or just stay on the side that you're on. And we'll come into Utpluti. Hands by the hips, lifting the, your lotus posture into the air, or just trying, lifting the knees, lifting the hips, maybe just playing and lifting for a second and dropping, whatever you wanna do for these 10 deep breaths. I just want you to really activate your arm strength here before we come into our Shavasana, finishing off with a bang. So hands by the hips, Lift up your lotus, however you wish, 10 deep breaths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, push, 10. And slowly release your lotus. Lay on the ground, let's enter Shavasana together. <sighs> Feeling your whole body on the ground. Feet as wide as your mat or wider, hands by your hips, palms facing up. <sighs> I'm 
And just start to breathe deeply, connecting to your breath, feeling your body melt towards the ground. Feeling the belly rising and falling. Everything else should be relaxed. From your feet to your head. we could stay in the Shavasana for longer but you can if you want after the practice highly recommend or join me in finishing off our practice together let's take one last full deep breath together inhaling and filling up the entire body with new oxygen exhaling and really emptying out the body as much as possible so you release every drop of air in your body. And slowly let's meet in a comfortable seat, keeping the eyes closed, just feeling the movement, feeling the circulation in your body flow back down towards your legs. <sighs> Feel this beautiful posture, this grounded seat. Every deep breath you take. Bring your hands to heart center. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste. Hope you enjoyed it and it wasn't too challenging. I'm sure you did amazing. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.